pretty simple. My name's Jason. This is my 2001 Subaru WRX. Uh, when I first started it, it was 100% stock, which is pretty rare to find for our Subaru special in Sydney. I wanted a GC8. Everybody wanted. Everybody wants a GC8. Um, but as I said, you can't find a, a stock standard one. But I was lucky enough to find this and. I've always liked the shape, it only came out for two years, so there's not many of them around, especially in red, because everybody wants a Subaru Blue. And the price was right, can't argue with with the cheap car. So, picked it up, had it for two years and left it standard, and then it's gone on from there. I didn't start off spending a lot of money. It uh, started off with a set of wheels, uh, intake, and exhaust, turbo back exhaust, and a tune. And I ended up getting 165 kilowatts at the wheels, which most people won't think that's a lot, but when the car first came out, it came out with 165 at the engine. So for those little three things, I was pretty happy. And took it to Mighty Car Mods Nationals, and uh, thanks to my mate Dion, chucked it on the drags, and um, decent times, we got 14 ones for a what, 17 year old car at the time, 16 year old car at the time. Um, but I was addicted then. And I said to him, probably what, after that afternoon, I said, I'm going up to Michael South Engineering and I'm going to get a motor built. I picked MSR because before I even went and had a look, um, I've seen a couple of these cars at World Time Attack and chucked on his website and actually saw how much engineering and how much uh, study and testing he's actually put into the parts. Went up and talked to him and said, look, the car's almost hit 190,000 Ks, can we re rebuild the motor? Stupid question, it's got 190,000 Ks, so it probably wasn't a good idea to rebuild that motor. So we uh, dropped a short motor in. He asked me what I was aiming for and I said I was happy with 200, 220. And came out with 225 and that was the, the start of this addiction I should say. Did the short block, uh, set of injectors, turbo, uh, inner cooler and E85. And I wasn't going to go for the 85 and then I thought, well, the engine's out. I'm putting a new EJ207 short motor in, so why not go for it? And E85 got me, I think 240, something like that. 240, 245, somewhere around like that. And that was a safe tune. So I drove that around for six months or eight months. And every week or so, I was back up at MSR saying, what else can we do, what else can we do? Ended up going with a totally different exhaust system for what I first had. Changed from a Turbo XS to an NVIDIA. And then chucked on a new turbo. So, went for a larger turbo. Chucked in another set of injectors. And what, ended up at 280. And now I'm at 296 or 297, and now the car's about to go in again. <laughs> this time, first thing that's happened is some bodywork. So, a whole new front set of fenders, uh, brand new Pro Drive front bar, wide body kit in the rear, brand new set of headlights. Uh, nine and a half inch rims, roof vent, because you know, rally car, got a cup open the roof. Then I was up there and organizing to go in to, to do all the body work. And I said, oh Michael, can we put a set of cams in? And a surge tank while, while the car's up here. That's when he pulled out a set of heads off his rally car. I said, I've got some big port heads. How about we chuck them in? Chucking a set of cams, adjustable cam gears, variable valve timing because you know 
O1s didn't have variable cam, so we'll chuck that in too. New ECU surge tank. So it just keeps on going and going. I've actually got a lot of people to thank to get the car to how it is right now. So the boys up at Car Mods Australia, up in Queensland, they're the first ones who started buying parts from. Then I've got to thank Tomo, Michael South, and now James Archibald up at uh, MSR, and Scott at Central Coast Auto Electrics. The amount of times I've bugged him for wiring for gauges and HID headlights. And probably Spectrum, the boys that did the paint. Um, 17 year old paint, or 18 year old paint it is now, it looks pretty faded. They've helped me out doing touch ups and next thing once the car gets all, all the white body work done, they're gonna be doing it all over again. Some people play sports, some people go shooting, some people play video games. I push this thing uh, and push myself. But um, everybody needs a release and to me that's what this is.